with everything that's been taking place in Europe, which I call the smokescreen to the real problem that is at hand and the biggest threat that I believe that we have to really worry about at this point in time. I do not believe it's Russia or any of this. I think this is all part of the three top peers over there that are taking control, meaning Russia, meaning China, meaning North Korea. This ongoing sable raveling by North Korea serves as a strict reminder that everyone should really have an emergency and an evacuation plan in place. These situations may arise suddenly and escalate very quickly and spiral out of control. The current tensions in the region is higher than ever before, particularly as North Korea's missile capabilities have increased along with their stockpile of nuclear weapons. And we all know where they got those things from. And they didn't make them. They are the most sanctioned country in the world. We know where these came from. Aiding to the tension is the inability of South Korean government and military to establish communications with North Korean officials. They've always done. They've always had daily communications with the North Koreans. A lot of people believe this is because of the development coincides with the Chinese military exercises that have been taking place in and around Taiwan, which if you look at it is a geographically close to the Korean Peninsula. It's not that far away. The close ties between China and North Korea suggest that North Korea's silence may be related to these military exercises. And they decided to just keep their mouths shut while the Chinese were doing these exercises and keep everybody wondering just what the heck is going on. Although China claims that these exercises have concluded, there is still a considerable Navy presence to the east of Taiwan, folks, including an aircraft carrier, a strike carrier group, and multiple warships. So if it's all over, why are they still setting out there? Furthermore, the Chinese government has threatened to intercept commercial ships now. I'm sure you guys seen this one on the news. If Taiwan fails to comply with their demands, this situation warrants close monitoring as the Chinese government is also planning to implement a no-fly zone in the northern part of Taiwan, which will temporarily restrict all air traffic. This potential conflict in Taiwan would have a significant impact on global trade as trillions of dollars worth of goods pass through the Taiwan Straits and through that air zone. A war in the region would likely result in the closure of the straits and airspace, leading to severe disruption in supply chains, especially in America. In addition to the geopolitical tensions, there are also ongoing concerns about geological events, such as earthquakes, volcano eruptions, and these type of things taking place, which further underscore the importance of having a solid evacuation emergency plan in place. In a heightened state of alert and present in a professional manner, we must address the alarming situation involving North Korea. We cannot take our eyes off them. Russia is not the enemy at this point. It is a distraction. Recently, North Korea launched a missile towards the island of Japan, located uh, at the northern region of Japan. This action prompted Japanese authorities to issue an urgent evacuation order, not knowing what was going to go on. Surprisingly, this incident received widespread coverage in the mainstream news. They actually reported on something that actually happened. Wow. Which is uncommon for these type of events, if you really think about it. The real significance of this event can be attributed to several different factors. The first, 
and most pressing reason is the missile close proximity to the Japanese island. The evacuation order has since been lifted, but this serves as a stark reminder of why it is absolutely crucial to have a comprehensive evacuation plan and emergency plan in your home in place and ready to go. This, in addition to having a bug out bag plan and a bag that is already filled with food or maybe some water, stuff that you can grab very quickly and be ready to implement in action in a very little amount of time. In situations like these folks, when moments count, people must be prepared to leave at a moment's notice. I know we're not used to talking about that here in this country, but this is just a reminder of what the rest of the world is dealing with. In this particular instance, individuals had a mere 30 minutes from the time of the missile launch to gather their supplies and evacuate. In the context of evacuation order, authorities typically advise the people to seek shelter and bomb shelter as soon as possible. Given that Japan's history as the only country to have experienced a nuclear attack, remember that, they take these types of situations very, very, very seriously. This is especially true when dealing with a nuclear-armed North Korea that just likes to run their mouth and has been pushing buttons and shooting rockets and who knows when the next one they shoot off could be a live bomb. The urgency of this matter is further made worse by the North Koreans. You know, they're not responding to either America or South Korean communications over the last week or so. This unusual behavior, coupled with the fact that they have been launching missiles almost nearly every day to every other day, raises a lot of concerns. Compared to a few years ago, folks, when missile launches were sporadic at best, North Korea now appears to be on track to set new record for missile launches in 2023. And we all need to pay attention to this we need to make sure that we're doing what we can to be prepared. We need to make sure that we have an emergency plan in place. It is so very important at this particular time that we live in. Make sure that you have a go bag ready. Make sure that you have things, your your first aid kits are ready, and anything else. So if you have to leave your area in a moment's notice, depending on where you live and everything else, you can grab these things and you can get them into your vehicles and you can get away from hopefully the worst part of the whole story so i'm survival preparedness for beginners thank you for joining me today hit that like button subscribe i'm out